Hello, Wolf then. My name is Fulton Elba, and welcome to the demo of Ira or Ira. I'm really unsure how to pronounce it, but this demo, it is already quite a bit old from 2016, January or something, and the real game is coming out somewhere in the future. Most likely also had a lot of improvements already, so early game demo. That's how easy it is. So, I do not fully know what the game is about, but I saw the art style and I was really intrigued. I think it's mostly along the lines of conversations with people, talking, grabbing objects and just experiencing the story. So no heavy action elements, just immersion. So without any further ado, let's see what ERA is all about. Were it possible for one to dream in stasis, the implications would be beyond comprehension. Imagine what wonders the mind might produce, given hundreds of years unrestrained. Pay attention to the way I'm doing this era. These all need to have a good seal for the engine to run smoothly. Okay. Um, you don't want to over tighten any of these bolts. Just enough to make sure the lines are secure. Alright, we're almost finished here. Can you bring me that wrench from above the workbench? Yes, I can do that. Ooh, let's see. So, lots of investigation, looking at stuff. I think that's talking to that. I can look at the car. It's a miracle this old thing runs at all. That is a genius with mechanical stuff. Ooh, I like that. I like it when the game gives you small tidbits of lore and a little bit of explanation of what is going on. Like, that's mining gear. So, my father is a miner. Um, it's so cold on Mars. I doubt this stuff is enough to keep that warm when he's up there. Wait. Okay, so apparently my father is going up to Mars. That is interesting to know. Um... More minor stuff. It's too big on me, but it keeps that safe when he's working on Mars. Yeah, hot mining hat. Lunchbox. That takes this to work every day, even though it's not always very full. Okay, that is interesting, because because of that, we now know that uh, the family isn't that rich, I think. So we are in a time where uh, people are going to space, very far to space, even Mars, mining and stuff. Uh, what else do we have? This thing has been has seen a lot of use. That has probably fixed half the stuff in our house here. So, a very big handyman. Um, gas cans, let's see. We probably don't need to put any gas in the car right now. Dad likes to keep these for emergencies anyway. And in the boxes, what do we have? It's just a bunch of old junk. <laughs> That's most of the time in boxes you have old junk when you don't really need it. Either way, wrench. Take it. Perfect. Okay, uh, quick tip, place points at the top of the screen to reveal items Ira is carrying. Nice. Click and drag any item from the inventory to the object you wish to interact with. Sounds good to me. So, that I got the wrench, use it on the car. I wouldn't know how to do this. I should get the wrench to that. Yeah, that's a good choice, actually. Well, wrench to that. Don't kill him. That would be bad. Here you go, Dad. Alright. Just a few turns on this bolt here. Alright. Now we just need another piece of hose. I think there is some in a box in the barn. Could you run out and get it? Um, sure. If I know how to. Okay, go outside. Yeah, that's pretty simple, isn't it? I do like the art style of this game. I mean, it's, at the moment it's very simplistic. The night air was crisp. A cool wind moving in from the north. Catching up the last of summer's warmth. That is nice. That is really giving you a sense of what's going on. And this looks awesome. So the art style is still 
pretty simple. Most likely in the end version of this game it will have improved quite a bit. But this demo has been laying around in one of my uh, folders for quite some time. Because it was removed in April from the website. So yeah, I thought what better way to play it now. So, windmill. What have we got? This was here before we moved in. I think it pumps water from the well. So we really live in the outer area. Uh, front gates, let's see. That will be leaving again once all the crops are in. He never says it, but going to the mines on Mars all winter must be terrible. So we're farmers during the summer and spring, and during the winter, Dad leaves to Mars to be a miner. That must be difficult for the family. Like, my father, he, he just goes to work and gets back the, the evening. But to be away for such a long time, it's like being in the army. I'd have no idea how that would feel like, to miss someone for that long of a period of time. Hmm. The leaves were so colorful this fall, but it's almost winter now. So, almost time for him to go then. We have a tractor. Dad bought this before he married Mom. He said when he comes home from mining in the spring, he'll teach me to drive it. The hose from the gas tank is exactly like the one we need to finish the car. Um, take the hose, leave the hose. Um, we were supposed to take the hose from the barn, not from the tractor. Like, that's bad. That's not going to happen. We're going to leave this hose alone unless we really need to take it. Like, unless we don't want to learn how to handle the land. But no. I guess this is the barn. Yes, it is. Let's find that hose. The darkness in the barn is thick. But moonbeams through the cracks give just enough light to illuminate a few boxes tucked in the corner. Something shifts in the upper loft, but it is out of view and concealed by shadows. Um, call up to the loft, climb to the loft, search the boxes. Yeah, in this situation, what would you do? You were alone in a very dark, dimly lit barn. In the evening, all on your own, and you suddenly hear something creaking up above. Are you going to call out, or are you just going to say, Nope, I'm going to search the boxes, I'm going to get the hell out of here as soon as possible. Uh, I think I'm most likely... Uh, it could be rats. It could be mice and rats. Maybe. Let's make sure, let's call up to the loft. If nothing is there, then they won't answer and nothing bad happens. Unless it's a killer, and let's just call up to the loft. Ira's voice is swallowed up by the darkness. There is no response. Uh, I could search the boxes, but I'm curious now. Let's search the boxes. It could just be mice and... Mice scurry out as Ira feels around the boxes. He tosses aside old oil-soaked racks and his finger quickly finds a soft rubber hose. See, I thought those were mice. Ira tucks firmly, but it is lodged between some rusted bits of junk and won't come free. He pulls again, harder this time, but the hose is lodged tightly. With one final heave, the hose comes free, but knocks the box to the ground and sends its contents bouncing into the darkness. Ira's first fist tightly closed around the hose, his hand flies upwards with force, bumping an old radio concealed by the shadows on the wall, jolting it to life. Eh, yeah. Ira looks around the darkness of the barn and is overcome with a feeling of unwelcomeness. He hurries out the door, hose in hand. Yes, that indeed is not very welcoming. That is horror material. Like, sure, it's not that scary, but suddenly you smack the radio, it starts blasting out music and what the hell just happened and... Uh, can we go back? I have the hose now. I, I don't want to go back in there. Not in this darkness anyway. Smart move. I mean, the fear factor surely spikes after such an event. Ah, got to hate the creepy and dark places, even if they are familiar to you. 
Yeah, good choice. Very good choice. Let's go. Um, yeah. I do like the style of this game. Like, it's mostly a walking simulator, I guess, but information through objects and text. I like it. Well, let's bring this host to Dad. See if he can fix the car up. Dad, I got the hose. That's the hose. Hand it here and I can finish up. Sure. Hose, hose. Uh, no, not on the car, on that. Thank you. So, is it going to run again or... Okay, now I just need to clamp this down here. That's about all we can do. The car should run for now. But we'll have to figure something out. Something else later. Thanks for the help, Ira. You'll be able to do this yourself soon, I bet. Why don't you go see if your mother needs any help with dinner? Always a good idea, but... Are you sure I can't help anymore? Is mom feeling okay today? Oh... Are you sure I can't help anymore? Yeah, we'll have to go into town for a part eventually, but there's not much more we can do now. Is mom feeling okay today? What is happening with mom? Oh, that does... Yes, of course your mother is fine. We just need to make sure we help out so she can get her rest to beat this thing. She's tough, you know. It would take a lot to keep her down for long. Okay, so... Beat down this thing. Why is my first thought going straight through to... She has cancer. Or something along those lines. Like a bad disease. <sighs> Fine, we'll help her out with dinner. Like, if she can use the rest, then sure, we'll gladly help her out. Thanks for the help, Ira. I'll see you inside for dinner. Yes. Also, why are we... Oh, I have things I need to do inside. Oh, inside, like that inside. Over here inside, yes. I do wonder, eating that late in the evening, like, whenever I go to dinner, it's like 5 o'clock or something. Not this late when it's dark outside. Oh, although, it's winter time, so... Hmm. No idea what time it is, let's say that. Okay, family pictures. Are we a close family? Most of these pictures are pretty old. We haven't been able to take a new family portrait in a few years. Yeah, we really don't have a lot of money in that case, I think. Mom and Dad's room. I'm curious, but I'm most likely will be able to go here. Ira? Oh, I didn't know you were asleep. Although, with that radio blurting out, um, were you asleep? That's alright, Ira. Not quite sleeping, just tired. Are you feeling alright? Well, uh, yes, I just had a long day and I needed to lie down for a while. There's nothing to worry about. I'll be back on my feet before you know it. Do you need me to bring you anything? No, I'm fine, sweetie. I'll have everything I need. Thank you for asking. In that case, do you want me to do anything to help with dinner? Dad asked me to help you, so... Oh, thank you. There's a pot on the table in the kitchen. Could you put it on the stove for me, please? Sure do. Is there anything else I should do? After you put dinner on the stove and go and tell your father to wash up for supper. If I'm feeling up to it, I'll join you too. Thank you, Ira. Hmm... I'm worried about her. Oh, it's and also it was the television. Can we turn it off or we can turn it off? Cadets Astro and Manning prepare a jet boat for long-range search. Tom Corbett and Major Connell, exploring on foot, stand at the base of a solid mountain of ice over six thousand feet high. 
something, Jupiter. This is the biggest hunk of ice I've ever seen, Major. Frozen gases, Cobra. That's all it is. Must be a hundred miles round at the base. Is that a we'll television series? Might be. Master? Channel 2. I want to find old Charlie and take his guns out of him. Yeah, definitely television series. Well, God. I'd lost the 800,000 in jewels, William Kahn, and enough blood for my scalp wound to make a vampire to a shot. I stumbled out of the building and put in a call to the plaza in Miami. While Space Cadets Astro and Manning prepare a jet Definitely for television series. I was hoping for something along the lines of uh, news. But no. Bookshelf, what do we have? I keep my books in my room. Most of these are mom's. So mom is quite a heavy reader. That's very nice. Mom found this used at a yard sale. It was in rough shape when we brought it home. She did such a good job cleaning it up. Yeah, we definitely aren't that rich if we have to take stuff from yard sales in bad states and... At least we have fire. It's a small fireplace, but it's enough to keep most of the house warm in the winter. Yeah. We don't look that happy. No, we don't. So, stove, put it on the table. That's the attic door. I can go there. There's nothing up there I need right now. It's usually locked anyway. Yeah, okay. The small crawl space. Ah, there's... Um, what time is it? It's just about time for... It's 10 to 1, or however you say that. And you are going to have dinner. This late in the early morning hours. Okay. Interesting. Um... I... Oh, my room. Can I go there? I have all the things I'm supposed to do right now. I can go in my room after dinner. Sure, 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 sure. What have we got? Barely any food. And the shelves are pretty empty right now. But we should have more money to buy food when Dad leaves for the mines on Mars. So he gets paid before he leaves. Hopefully. Might be a case of... Paying the family up front, just in case something goes wrong in the mines. The life of a miner isn't a safe one, I'd imagine. Especially on Mars. We've got potatoes. Dad and I dug, up tho dug those up last week from our garden. Mom makes the best fried potatoes. Fried potatoes are awesome, absolutely. Uh, we'll be eating dinner soon, I don't need anything from here right now. Yep, got it. Uh, that's a stew. And we need the stew to put it on the stove. Uh, before I do that... Oh dear, medical papers. Mom brought this home from the doctor this week. Patient 225925, stage 3. Malignant... I don't know what any of that means. Um, Me neither. My English is not good enough for that. Maligant. I am going to search that word up right now, really quickly. Give me a moment. Maligant. Disposed to cause harm, suffering or distress deliberately. Feeling or showing ill will or hatred. That's the meaning I can find on the internet right now. And that means it's... I think my thought about cancer is most likely true. Uh, by the way, let's put food on the stove. Let's put food on the stove to get dinner started. Yeah. <sighs> it's cancer and not the good kind. Not at all. We don't throw much away so I don't have to empty this very often. Useful. And a pretty old and upbeat broom. I'm surprised mom does most of the cleaning with this. Yeah, let's use the stew on the stove. Not wait any longer. Now that I've got supper cooking, I should go get dad from the garage. Yes, now please don't let there be a fire or anything in the house. That would be absolutely terrible. Uh. You know, I really feel sorry for this family right now. Now, I turned that television off and the fireplace was turned on. Um, 
turn it off. It's stuck on... Something's wrong with the dials. Oh, God. Oh, that is bad. Um, Mom? Okay, Mom is out of bed. Where is she? Where is Mom? We can't go in her room. Dad? What? The sound of water floods the senses, washing away an old reality, leaving in its place a bleak sense of lonely existence. The room grows cold. Okay. We've just... We've just experienced a memory. Oh god, that makes me wonder what the hell even happens. All the wood over here is gone, which is why the fire isn't running. What happened is what I'm wondering right now. Did we move houses? I am quite unsure. I think we indeed moved away. I mean, the stuff that was worth something that wasn't broken down is still... or is gone, and the stuff that is broken down and wasn't worth too much is left behind. Room to the attic is open. Grandfather clock's gone. Or well, it's still here, but... Fridge. Can I go to my room? I don't think it's my room anymore at this point. How long ago was that previous segment? What time are we in? I fear for the worst that our mother died. And... A familiar feeling comes with the pale light streaming through the old attic, but it is fleeting. A Victrola sits alone, thickly coated with dust, long forgotten and claimed by the slow procession of decades gone by. Decades. So we were a very young kid, and now we are grown up. Although we don't notice that because we're still the same person, but... Victrola. I've only ever seen these things in movies, never in real life. Does it still play? Or... The feeling returns with the winding of old gears. Theater. That's our house. So... We got the car working again. <sighs> then we lost our mother. Dad went to space. To Mars. With several other miners. Which means I was left alone. Dad had to go to space. And I was left alone. Oh god. That is depressing. Um. What? Um, I have no idea what's going on. I'm going to the sparkling console. Did we go to space too? Oh. 
We weren't supposed to dream in stasis. How long have we been here? My head is splitting. I can barely remember being put under. These pods are all powered down. Something must have gone wrong. I hardly knew most of these people. Why weren't they automatically revived? There's no way to tell what's happened from down here, or even where we are. I need to get to the bridge. It's my best chance at finding out what's going on. Okay, so I'm guessing, sort of, right now, Mom died, Dad didn't want to leave us alone, so we went together with Dad to Mars. But... I can barely remember going into stasis. We were still in Earth's orbit. I have no idea how long ago that was. So where is Ma where is our father? It's completely powered down. A failsafe should have automatically revived the people inside. Are they dead now? Am I the only one alive in this spaceship right now? Um, I really don't hope that is true. This is intriguing though. Okay, so... Hatch control... Uh, yeah. Most likely the hatch is closed, so we have to open it up first. This console is powered down. I might be able to get the power back on from another terminal. Oh... Uh, okay. The main terminal? In the hall? I mean... This one is turned on. Um... What is the stasis pod status? Zero active stasis chambers. Oh, zero life signs. Ship hull status. Computer, external sensors compromised. Please contact engineering. <laughs> yeah. Ship power levels. Do we still have enough powers? Internal sensors compromised. Please contact... Fine, you want me to contact engineering? Let's see if the communications are still up. Connecting to network. Engineering. Connecting. Engineering is unresponsive. Well, ain't that peachy. Fine, the bridge in that case. Connecting to the bridge. Bridge is unresponsive. Am I the only one alive? Internal systems. Unresponsive? Oh. Hello? Is anyone there? Please respond. I need help. Yes, I'm right here. What form of assistance do you require? Um, are you a machine? Who is this? Where are you right now? Where am I? That's a strange question. Where are you? What? Did I contact someone completely out of here? Like... Who doesn't have to do anything with this? You seem to be in a confused state. Do you require medical assistance? You're a robot, aren't you? <sighs> Are you at all able to come to where I am? Let's ask that. Certainly not. It'll be easier for you to come to me. Come around to the back of the console and bring me out. Uh, what? <laughs> bring you out? This is not a complex task. Your time in stasis may have caused your mental state to have diminished. There is a release on the rear of the console. Pull it. Okay. Rear release, let's do it. Hi. You're just a robot. Machine. Computer program. AI. It will be much easier for me to help you if you take me with you. An entire AI computer. Okay, if I can carry that with me, sure. At least if you can help me. Okay, I'll be able to access the hatch lock from the hatch con control console. Take me over there. Yes. I maybe should have asked him a few more questions. Just maybe. Just maybe. Hatch control. 
Uh, yeah, AI system, yeah. I keep forgetting that. AI computer on the hatch control console. Okay, there's not nearly enough power reaching this terminal. Is that a bad thing? Yes. Actually, the entire vessel is on emergency power. Fuel levels are good. The protocol seems to have shut down the ship's generators. Okay, how do we get them working again? Oh! Oh god. Um. That's bad. That's bad. It appears the ship's generators have experienced a malfunction. It would be wise to proceed to the central console to divert the steadily torrent of water and toxic fuel. Yes, you think! Run to the console! Definitely! Now what? Input these numbers into the interlace. Interface. Blech. Two two. Got it. Oh. Oh. Five nine. Five nine. Twenty five. Oh god. Not good, not good, not good. Not good at all. Oh, that's the ending. That's the ending of the demo. Oh god, you, you, I just got into it. Ah, that is very nice. It's still a demo, still early game, and there have been a lot of developments, most likely, if you go to the site. It's no longer on Kickstarter, if I'm right, because they have already progressed so far. So, ah, oh god. Ah, uh, that was very, very nice. Like, really nice. I'm intrigued by this game. I will keep my eyes on this one in the future, that's for sure. Anyway, that is the end of ERA for now. So, maybe if you guys have gotten a little bit more interested in this game, thanks to my video, then that is absolutely amazing. Go check out the website. I will see if I can leave a link down in the description below for you to check out. So, yeah, I'm really curious as to where this game is going. Like, there's a lot going on, a lot of backstory. They really managed to grab me at the start already. So, wow. Anyway, I guess that is going to be it for today's episode. So, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Have a very nice day. And remember, have fun. Ira is certainly an interesting concept. I love a good story, you know. Don't forget to check out the link to their website in the description down below. Looks like they really improved in this little demo over here.